Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my tech vault. And today we're going to be talking about motherboards for the Ryzen 3000 series. And this is one of those few videos that I make that, from the comments sections of my previous videos, this video really and really does need to be made. And for the purposes of everyone out there buying motherboards, uh, me included, I'm actually in the market for buying one for my for the Ryzen 3950X. When that comes out, I'll be buying one. But I've done some research. I've been buying some already uh, for other people, clients, the people that I've been building computers for. If you're unfamiliar, I do build computers for people. Um, but I've been doing a lot of research on this stuff. I've been looking a lot online. And to be quite honest with you, I'm going to put this very simply because I don't like wasting people's time. There's not really a good answer. So if you're unfamiliar, I have done, been doing computer building and building multiple computers, uh, lots of computers every year for like the last couple years. And I've had my fair share of miserable, uh, horrible, and disappointing experiences with motherboards companies. So over here is the lovely wall of what remains of actually being a decent motherboard. So what we've got over here is just my collection of boxes. Uh, we've also I've also reorganized the room so we've got some cases, some computers back there. Um, and it's a mess currently, but I will be moving stuff around later on. But today we're going to be just talking about that real quick. So first off, there's a couple brands I want to talk about. First off, MSI, uh, Gigabyte, uh, ASRock. What's the other ones I want to talk about? Um, there are a few others, and I'm not bashing them. Um, but most notably, what I've been hearing in the news or hearing online on the online forums that I pay attention to, MSI has had some really, and I mean really bad issues at the beginning with BIOS. What I've been reading online is they've had a lot of issues with the old motherboards not supporting the Ryzen 3000 series. Uh, they did come out with like a Mac series, which honestly is just support for Ryzen, but it's the same pretty much BIOS is going on all these motherboards. So therefore, the same issues are across pretty much the whole board. Um, MSI is having a lot of issues. Obviously, Obviously, these will eventually iron out once the new BIOSes come out, once the new software comes out. But if you're buying an X570 motherboard, for example, don't be surprised if you get it and it has some issues, especially if it has an older BIOS. That's the big problem that a lot of people are running into, is that I, I personally feel like the motherboard manufacturers rushed out the motherboard or the BIOS, the final BIOS that was going to be pu pushed on the motherboard, basically whatever BIOS that was going to be shipped uh, with the board itself. I feel like that was a little, uh, I don't know what's right, buggy, uh, underrated, and definitely not the level it should have been because a lot of people experienced a lot of issues. So, most notably, ASRock has a pretty good track record, in my personal opinion, with um, motherboard BIOSes, especially the, this one that did good. Uh, I know the X570 Tai Chi is a good one, um, but honestly, the way to think about this is that the expensive motherboards are of course going to have the nice uh, more investigated BIOSes or more uh, you know, troubleshooted or tested BIOSes um, and rather on the cheap motherboards they're not going to have so much of. So looking at it from the standpoint of me, I bought some ASRock motherboards, I've, I've done a a ASUS, I've done um, Gigabyte, I've, there's a fair share of motherboards that I've looked at. For me, I've heard a lot of stuff online as well. Like my personal go-to would be ASRock because they've had a really good uh, reputation, or they've had a really good reputation in me. I've seen lots of uh, they've been really good about getting stuff back, problems, etc. Um, but I've heard stuff online that goes completely against that. I've heard stuff that the uh, this board in particular has a lot of issues. Uh, I know for the Ryzen 3900X, it does fine. I've I've tested it. I have videos of it. Um, it's a wonderful motherboard for me. I know the Tai Chi is a good one, but those are all really expensive. This is 200 I think the Tai Chi is 300 And I've already made a video ranting about how disappointed I was at the price of these motherboards. So, for the main problem, uh, a lot of you guys are really wanting to know is what motherboard to buy. And I made a video talking about this one. I think I did an unboxing. It's a relatively decent motherboard. I put a link in it for the description if you're interested. But for me, this was a good motherboard. And... I think there was some a lot of issues with MSI, and my personal recommendation right now is I'm not surprised because MSI for me, I've had I think three motherboards in a row that had some type of issue with them from MSI, and I know I made a video talking about like the Tomahawk or whatever, 
But you guys didn't realize uh, that was my like third mother and the second motherboard with this with identical or similar issues. So honestly, MSI for me doesn't have a great track record. Out of three out of four motherboards that I got from MSI had issues, and I mean issues that it was pretty much made the computer unusable. Whether it be uh, the memory channels not working, not posting at all, or um, the LED lights uh, pretty much not working, uh, then the fans not working, and just a whole long list of issues, and then RAM not overclocking to the right levels. It's just, MSI for me is not a brand that I personally would consider, uh, just because for me they have a bad track record. But honestly, there'll be other people out there that say MSI is great. So this is, as I said, not a really good answer. My personal recommendation would be go with ASRock, just because from my experiences, I've seen ASRock uh, have a pretty good record. Uh, I believe MSI, when I wanted to uh, RMA it, they said it'd take like a month and a half to send the board back. So for me, honestly, ASRock with like their two-week uh, return, I, I go with them. Uh, I Gigabyte, uh, As or Asus, I've had no issues with them in the past. Um, but honestly, a lot of the stuff I've been seeing online is um, MSI. MSI is a really bad one. Don't go with that. Um, but thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully that video was explaining something. Uh, I've got some really exciting computer builds coming up soon as well. But thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy and have a good night.